I have three amazing flatbread recipes that are not only super easy to make, but also cost less than the store-bought flatbreads. Two recipes can be made in a few minutes, and the best part is that they are much more delicious than the processed flatbreads that you find in the store. Believe me, you wish you had known these recipes earlier. And remember, all are made with very few ingredients. No oven or yeast is needed as well. In this series, I will share my few favorite wraps that are quick, easy, cheap, and of course, next level flavor. And when you're at a party and there is a need for a flatbread, some kind of, you know, dips that are on the table, now you can be the hero by just whipping up some flatbread within a few minutes. So I will show you three levels of flatbread. Well, first, a bonus recipe I want to share with you. That is the fastest flatbread that you can make. So if you don't have time to watch the whole video, that's fine, because you need a flatbread right now. I understand your friends are waiting. So here is my five minute emergency flatbread. In a bowl, add one part all-purpose flour and two parts of water with a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of olive oil. Mix together with a whisk. Cook the batter in a non-stick pan on medium-high heat for two minutes on each side until brown spots appear. Feel free to flip it around a couple of times and serve. With these flatbreads, you can literally make anything. You can use them for delicious dips. You can stuff them with whatever you like. You can also eat them with a juicy Indian curry. Uh, it's up to you. Now that you've warmed up your flatbread knowledge, let's dive into the real flatbread recipes. First up, the easy lava bread. This flatbread originates out of Armenia and is used all over the world for kebabs, chicken wraps, dips and more. Okay, to make this flatbread, it's the same ingredients as the emergency flatbread from before, but the flour and water ratio switched rolls. In a bowl, put 300 grams of all-purpose flour and 200 milliliters of lukewarm water, one teaspoon of salt, and mix it all together. Toss the work surface with flour and dump the dough on top of it. Knead the dough for five to eight minutes or until it becomes a soft, smooth ball. Kneading is really important to develop the gluten network, and it will strengthen the dough so the end result has a more chew to it. Now let this baby rest for 30 minutes so the dough can relax and become soft again after the beating it got from you. Take the dough out of the bowl and give it a little slap of love like you slapped that like and subscribe button, right? <laughs> no? Divide and roll it into five even balls. I like to roll it with the palm of my hand, but you can also use both hands or you can fold it into each other like this. Then let it rest for another 15 minutes and remember that during the resting of the dough, you can do other stuff, right? Such as cooking your meal, after 15 minutes, lightly flour work service, roll the balls into thin oval shapes and turn them 90 degrees to widen them. Try to get them as thin as possible. Then put a large non-stick pan on medium high heat and bake the lavas for 30 seconds on each side. Be careful to not overcook them because they will lose their lovely soft texture. And now you can stuff these with anything. Just grill up some veggies, chicken or tempeh, melt some cheese and make a good sauce that is already an awesome snack, everything combined. I will have some videos upcoming where I make my favorite recipes that include those flatbreads. But now on to the second flatbread, the most famous flour tortilla. So it's really easy to make and so versatile for all your Mexican stuffing. Uh, you can make fajitas with it, quesadilla, you name it. But of course, we need a very delicious flour tortilla first. Again, in a bowl, add 300 grams of all-purpose flour, 200 milliliters of water, half a teaspoon of salt, and 60 milliliters of olive oil, three tablespoons or so. The olive oil is what makes a difference in the ingredients compared to the lava's bread. Mix the ingredients together and turn the dough onto a lightly floured work surface. Knead the dough 10 to 12 times firmly and separate the dough immediately into six parts and roll them into balls. Then let it rest covered with a damp kitchen towel for five minutes. After five minutes, roll each ball using a rolling pin into thin circles, a bit larger than the size of your hand. Put a non-stick pan over medium-high heat, add some oil, and cook each tortilla for one minute per side. You will start to see slight brown spots, and that's when you know they're ready. Now go and enjoy this tortilla with whatever you want on it. You are welcome. And now for the last and my favorite flatbread, we are really amping up the flatbread knowledge here, but bear with me and you will be pleased with this delicious recipe. I'm of course talking about the paratha. 
Paratha is an Indian flat wrap that is a great mix between a, a croissant and a tortilla. So it's crunchy, it's very flavorful, it holds together your ingredients very nicely in a wrap, but it's also amazing with Indian curries or any other curry that you want to eat with it. And it has these flaky bits where the sauce is going to like melt in between. Now this one needs a little bit more love and effort compared to the others, but it's still very doable in my opinion. If you cannot choose which recipe you want to do from these three uh, flatbread recipes, just pick one and pick this one. Come on, you know you gotta try this one. Okay, so for the parada, add 300 grams of all-purpose flour, 180 milliliters of water, six grams or one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon or 18 milliliters of olive oil to a bowl and mix the ingredients together. Knead the dough for five minutes or until soften and becoming a smooth, lovely ball. And then cover the bowl and let it rest for 15 minutes. On the side in the container, melt a nub of butter or 36 grams of butter and set it aside. You will need this later. Once the dough is rested, divide the dough into six pieces and roll them into balls and let them rest under a damp towel for another 15 minutes. Dust the work surface with flour and roll each paratha ball into circular shapes and make them as thin as possible. Now, the different technique to all the other recipes that makes this flatbread so special. This is where it gets its epic croissant texture. Spread melted butter onto the circular dough, pinch the dough with one hand together, and with the other hand, let it flow gently through the other hand to create ripples, like a rippled long snake. Then roll it up like a cinnamon bun and tuck the end under the dough. There are other methods you can apply, but it's important that you get as many small layers of dough as possible because this gives the lovely, crusty, crispy bits that a croissant-like texture has. Do that for all your other balls and let them rest for another 50 minutes. After 50 minutes, add some flour to your rolling pin. You could, if you want, add some more butter to the dough. Then roll them out to be a nice, large, round circle, but make sure they are at least still half a centimeter thick so that you don't roll them too thin. Put a nonstick pan on medium high heat and add some butter to the pan. Cook the parada for four minutes per side or until it's nicely crispy golden brown. These were some of the easiest flatbreads that I could think of to get you off that store-bought stuff and to get you start making your own delicious flatbread. And you know, even be the hero on a party where there is a lack of flatbreads with all the dippings on the table or somebody needs a flatbread or a wrap base for dinner, uh, you could be the hero now that you know these recipes. I will make some delicious food with these flatbreads and there is another video upcoming where I'll share even more delicious flatbread recipes. So subscribe to stay up to date with those videos. And since this is the flatbread series, you can go ahead and directly click on the next video here. And if you like this video, please leave a like and let me know in the comments what recipes you would like to see with the flatbreads in the future uh, or any other recipe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.